Hello, gorgeous people! You just know. Hello, beautiful people! Welcome back to another coding session with Reborg with coffee. Oh. God damn, I love it. Water. And our brains. All right, so I opened up Zen flow chart, pseudocode, and uh, we finished the third challenge. Let's go for the fourth, around number four. Okay, world info. This is lightly five difficulty level. So we have to do it again with the same code, but we have a, another obstacle. Am I right or am I right? Let's see. So have Reborg go around the world in the counterclockwise direction once and stop at its starting position. Reborg must not step on the grass. The correct path is shown by the dashed white line. Right, so it's the same thing. Stop, stop. Starting position. Once Reborg must not step on the grass. Right. Your program should also work for worlds around one, two, and three. What do you need to know? The functions move, turn left, and poop. 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 Right. We know them. Turn left. Put and move. We know them by now. Either the test front is clear or wall in front, right is clear or wall on right, and object here. How to use a while loop and if elif statement. Okay, so we have to uh, we have to do it Okay, we have to change here some things For instance The placement of the token is correct The token will be placed at its starting position Wait a second. In the counterclockwise direction once, a stop at a starting position. Okay, just one second. I want to check. At world three something. Okay. Right. Let's jump into the while loop. So if we have a wall on front, which is true, our awesome, let's call our robot, how should we call this one? Hmm. I'll call the robot Rob. Hey. What an original name. Okay, so if Rob sees the wall, which he will when the while loop starts, he will turn left. Meaning that... Okay, he will move once. Our right is clear. 
it will rotate. Okay, so this is not good. Um, yeah, we have to make some changes here. So if we have a wall on front, turn left. Turn left once more. If you my right is clear, I have to wait. Let me see what happens if I make an elif inside this one. I'm I need to make the rotation, right? So Rob will be facing left. One, two, th so Three times I have to use station and move. Let me see if this works. Invalid syntax and right is clear. Let's deal with the first part. Ah, okay, yeah, and move. Oh, perfect, 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 per, 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 perfect. Front is clear, move. Object here, nope, and it will check again. Wall in front, no, right is clear, no, front is clear, yes, move, right is clear, it will go there, it will rotate three times, it will move. Okay, left, all right, let's place. I think it will go, okay, let me see. So it will go all the way here and here it's not, we don't have an object. We don't have a wall in front. It will turn left. Oh, really? So I've completed the task, but let me check. I want to understand here, right over here. So wait a second. Okay, right over here. We have a wall in front. It will turn left. Got it. 
we don't have a wall in front, it will jump to the next if, right, else, right, right is clear, no is not, front is clear, yes, move, object here, no, while again, wall in front, no, right is clear, no, front is clear, yes, so move, this is why, Object here, yes, done. Beautiful. So this is basically we had to do an if inside the if. I don't know why it doesn't work with elif. elif. Let me think how elif works. Elifs are ifs are just another statement. But with elif I can check that thing like with ifs. For instance, if I want to check is are you like 18 year, years old? Yes. Do you want to buy alcohol? Yes. Uh, do you also want to buy Jeans, yes, I can achieve that with ifs or elifs. It's interesting. Anyway, around is done. Around four. Let's see center. What's up with this? Five difficulty for this one. Intrigued? Yes, I am. 